What's up, bros? Welcome to another BroGraph motion graphics tutorial. I am Matt Milstead, and today um, we're going to be going over some of the new stuff in uh, Adobe CC After Effects. Uh, the 12.1, uh, if you don't know, uh, Adobe just released 12.1. Uh, that kind of did an update for Mavericks so that it'll work fluidly with Mavericks as well as introducing a very very uh, uh, wanted and needed um, addition to the amazing After Effects uh, group of tools and it is called the Mask Track so uh, as you know I'll just show you real quick so I created this mask around this door, just a really quick mask, and I was able to track it literally in seconds, rotoscope the entire thing really well. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of how this works. Um, it's, it's really probably the most amazing uh, thing that has update that has happened in a really long time with After Effects and I'm really really happy they finally incorporated this so it's super easy to use um, basically what you'll do is you'll just uh, take your footage make it into a new composition and then you're just going to mask out whatever it is you want to uh, to mask or basically what you want to roto and this really takes a lot of the hard work out of rotoscoping. I, I don't know if you guys have done, if you've done rotoscoping in the past, you will know that it is the most arduous and just time consuming thing you can possibly do. Um, and with the new uh, uh, mask tracker from After Effects CC 12.1, it makes this job so simple. Now I have found that when I'm doing this, um, I have run into a couple of problems as far as like you may have to stop occasionally and adjust the track. But in comparison to having to go every single frame and uh, change everything up, this is a very, very welcomed tool. Uh, I'm sure this is going to be the new thing that people are talking about with After Effects. Um, so as you can see, just in the time that I have been talking to you, um, I've gone ahead and made a mask around the door of this Jeep right here and cut that out pretty well. Now we can do another mask in here, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. This is just trying to kind of give you an overview of it. So let's uh, hit M so that we can see our mask properties and then let's hit none so that it just shows the mask on top of it. Now click on your mask and if you go to animation uh, track mask, uh, this little tracker will show up. Now uh, you've got position, uh, if it's just a static or if it doesn't move uh, uh, or like change scale or rotate or anything it's and, and you're 100 percent sure it doesn't change perspective uh, go ahead and just hit position but then you've also got position rotation where it would be just the straight position along with a little bit of rotation position scale and rotation where it's uh, uh, the uh, scale is getting bigger as well as rotating in uh, position well this one's it's kind of a handheld camera so what we're going to use is position scale rotation and skew uh, we're going to kind of use it all now you've also got perspective as well uh, which does a really good job as uh, uh, almost if you've got a flat surface what I've noticed is if you've got a flat surface and then as you're turning that flat surface will move with it so it's pretty cool so we're just going to do maybe like a couple seconds of this just so I can show you guys and then we're just gonna hit uh, track forward whoops start back over track forward and you can see as it goes along how well this thing tracks along those edges and now see how fast this is moving this is actually uh, I'm not speeding this up at all this is what my laptop is is handling and it's handling it really well uh, uh, I'm impressed 
very, very impressed with the speed of this as well. So look at this. We just rotoscoped two seconds uh, in about no time. So now if we duplicate this frame, let's uh, uh, leave our mask there at none, and then we'll do add here so that we've just got the door. Now we can do some cool stuff like uh, mess with the hue or saturation and uh, change it into like a, a, a green door. We'll bring the lightness down or something. So that's like a forest green. See? And that's a really smooth edge and really, really nice looking. And that moves and tracks it so well. So uh, Adobe, if you're watching, uh, thank you so much for the uh, for the mask tracker. I have been wanting this for a really, really long time. But just with a few simple clicks, you can actually get some high quality rotoscoping done with the new mask tracker. Now there's a whole bunch of other stuff that's with 12.1 that I really haven't gotten into. The other thing that they talk about is being able to scale your stuff. Uh, I've, I've noticed Adobe is really pushing the ability to, uh, I think they're really moving towards the 4K and um, the up resing from uh, HD, just standard HD, or 2.5K all the way up to 4K. So uh, their scaling options are a lot better. Um, I haven't seen them firsthand, but that's what they're, uh, they're showing on their website. So anyways, uh, this is the uh, mask tracker in After Effects. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Uh, go out there and rotoscope that everything that you want now uh, because of this easy tool. Uh, I'm Matt Milstead. This is another BroGraph tutorial, and uh, we'll see you next time.